welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a hodgepodge haul for you. It is Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and a couple things from TJ Maxx. I didn't find too terribly much and I do have company in town this weekend, so I just wanted to show you what I picked up because I want to use some of this stuff this weekend. But like I said, there's not a terrible amount of things, mostly crafty bits. Um, I did get this fun little cup. It is a snowball with a straw and a lid to make festive beverage for myself. So that's what that looks like. These are fun. I think kids would enjoy them, although like my hand has a hard time getting around it. I'd have to hold it like that, but I got that. Oh, I found some more socks for my nephew. And I was walking through the store going, I don't need any more socks for him. And then I saw an entire box of Dungeon and Dragon socks. And I believe he played or plays this game. So, so and it came with two pair for $1.25. So I need to figure out which, there's a gift bag. Ooh, I landed right in the gift bag. I haven't finished wrapping it up yet. So I got that. Um, I grabbed two more cat bowls. I tend to, well, I give each boy gets two meals a day, basically, in these bowls. So they each get um, a serving of wet food in the morning and a serving of wet food at night. And so... Um, these bowls are fantastic for that because I add warm water to their wet food. But I tend to have to run my dishwasher more because I go through a lot, like four, four a day. I could hand wash them, but I'm not going to do that. So I picked up two more. I just grab them when I see them. And I like them to be in the right color. I mean, like pairs of colors. I don't know why. I just, yeah, it's me. I grabbed this ornament. I'm not sure if I have it or not, but I saw a little fun something that they did with the snowman head. So we may be disassembling this or dismembering it, I guess. That's a snowman though, but super cute. Or I could take it up for my little dinner tomorrow night at the pool house and use it to decorate. Maybe. Um, tape, Christmas, Nuff said. And then I found, oh, look at this. I found some super fine neon glitter. This is so fun to craft with. I love using the super fine. And these are shakers, but it's neon, guys. It's neon. I mean, that's fun just because it's neon. Um, oh, they had, I use, I use these all all the time. They're makeup erasers. I use them in my bathroom to wash my face. Like I don't use them to take off makeup. I use them with face wash and water to scrub my face because they're so soft to clean with and they don't harm my skin. Opposed to like a face cloth or a washcloth, whatever you call them. But this is a different design. Um, the one thing I will say, let them dry. Um, don't wad them up. They will start smelling musty. I've had to throw a couple away because I just tossed them in my hamper. But I'll use them a couple times. But look, it's strawberries. How cute is that? I even travel with these to wash my face in hotels. They weigh nothing. They take up no room. They are so soft. And like I said, I like to just wet them. I put some face wash and I just use them to wash my face. So, fun. And I like finding new... You know, they, they need to be tossed every once in a while. Um, I got a set of these. I know I own, I have these somewhere, but I just picked up another set because they're cute. These are little Christmas trees. They're little wooden ones that I'm going to paint. If I find time. All right. And then I just have a couple more things. Like I said, I have family in town. And so um, I'm not trying to be gone all day shopping um they had little earring findings at my store so the findings are the pieces you use to make earrings so you get like the little straight things the hoops uh there's two different sized hoops and then these i think it 
these would be considered like they would go around beads or something. So this is a whole beading kit for earrings, right? Fun. I found the tools. Now, these are new to my store, I can tell you that. And what we're gonna do is use one. I actually have a set, and trust me, I paid more than $3.75 for it. But you get these little needle nose, right? So these are needle nose. They're just little pliers. These are great for crafting. Now, I do have a set. Here, I'll just do this and then I'll cut it off later. These are the nippers to cut metal. They don't seem as delicate as the ones that I have already for tools for jewelry making, but I mean, I use these tools for all kinds of crafting. So I will use these 100% to cut the pipe cleaners to make a little DIY. And then I got, these are the round tipped ones. And what these do is you would take a piece of wire and curl it and it makes like a circle, like a U. Um, I couldn't tell if they're dirty or if they're black. But yeah, a three set of craft pliers for $3.25, you're not gonna find that pretty much anywhere. So I said, oh yes, ma'am, you need that. And I bought it. I bought it to show you too. And then I got some washi tape to do my planner. It's just little like bears because guys, it's bears. And why don't I need bears on my washi tape? I mean, I do clearly because I bought them. And that is all I found at my Dollar Tree this week. I'll take all this upstairs and purge the trash. Watch out, Jesus. My Jesus advent sitting here. Okay, then I went to TJ Maxx and I found for my cross stitching some frames. So I got this one. It's a four by six and I am stitching a fox and I'm hoping it will fit in here. If it won't, it's fine. I have the receipt I can return it but I also have other patterns but it's circular it's oval in shape and so I wanted to get it in here and this one I like because I can hang it up or stand it up which is nice um and I will say I mean I do buy Dollar Tree frames on occasion but I will say that not all the time because they're not as sturdy like this is glass it's heavy. It has some weight to it. So this is for the fox that I am currently working on. I'm going to put this paper in my fireplace, maybe. And then this one, I'm dying. I am stitching Edgar Allan Poe. He's dark. He's spooky. And I think he's going to fit in here. Or at least we hope he's going to fit in here. This one also only stands, look at this, the weight. It was $12.99 and this is a girthy frame. I'm loving the shape. I don't know if he'll fit in here or not. This is an eight by 10, so it is a little large, but he hopefully will fit in here. I just don't want a little tiny Edgar Allan Poe and have a lot of blank space around him. So if he doesn't fit in here, I will stitch something else because I love this frame. And I feel like, it could go spooky or not. It just depends. But so I grabbed that frame because I saw it. They had put out a bunch of new, new frames and stuff. And I'm always on the hunt for things to do with my cross stitching stuff. So I have that. And then my last stop was Hobby Lobby to get some stuff for projects, but also some stuff for our holiday party tomorrow. So I grabbed this table runner. It was $10.99 half price. Um, so I got it to put on the table where I'm going to put the food. We're just having cold cuts, deviled egg. Oh, I got to boil the eggs. Deviled eggs, um, some kind of dips and chips and a veggie tray. So nothing crazy, just visiting with family and friends. So that we're doing that. So I needed, I didn't need it, but I wanted it. This was definitely a need. These are tongs, just Christmas plastic tongs. These were a dollar twenty-five. They were also half price. Definitely disposable, but to grab the eggs, the ham, the meat, the whatever. So we're not, you know, touching things. These are definitely Dollar Tree quality. I don't care. They're red. They were cheap. And they'll work. 
Oh, I, I got these ornaments. If you can see, they're like wreaths. Oh, let me take one out. They're round and they're sparkly. And they are going to, I'm going to finish a cross stitch in the middle. So what I will do is cut a circle that attaches to the back, make a cross stitch in the middle and then glue it to the back of these and it will hang on my tree. And I can put, I think I want a snowflake, but something sparkly, definitely, or like navy blue. So this is actually really cool because it comes with four which is awesome. So I can um, make four or I can share these. So I grabbed those. These were $7.99 half price. So that was fun. Oh, and to go on them, I got these little, they're stickers, but I'm going to glue them on and they're just cardinals. But they're also sparkly. And I thought, depending on what... And what I do, I could put a little cardinal down here. Like if I did a Christmas tree or something, I could even attach that on the top. I just thought that went together well. I don't have anything yet, so questionable. Um, if you know me, I have allergies and who doesn't need some festive tissues for the purse? So I have my Santa and these are just some holly berries. They're definitely smaller than they used to be. I mean, the packs used to come like that thick but now they're, it's fine. I need something in my purse when I sneeze. So I grabbed those because I want it to be festive. Um, oh, I got the pipe cleaners to make my vintage tree. They didn't have the mint green, so I got pink and red. I feel like the red is more fluffy, but I don't know. So I will use my new wire cutters to cut these and I will make a video of me making them. I'm taking it straight from the girl on TikTok. So this is definitely not my idea, except for I'm probably the only one ripping a Barbie head off, but who cares? That's all right, I'm gonna shave her head too. So there's that. Um, these were only $1.29, they were not on sale, but it's a good deal. I was at Joanne and the same size package was $3.99. So pink and red for that. And then the last things I got, you're gonna die. I'm gonna die. I mean, I'm not really gonna die. I guess we might. So we have Chipper. Chipper weighs 120 pounds. He is Sarah and Michael's big dog. So he gets a big lammy. Luna is nine pounds. She gets a little lammy. It's a little crinkle lammy. And then they sure did have one for my cats. We're all getting lammies here. These were in the spring shop and they were 40% off already at Hobby Lobby. This has been a, I just, I just want a picture, but we'll never be able to take a picture because the big dog will eat the cats. So we can't let that happen. But she, he likes the little dog. So everybody's getting a lammy for Christmas. I can't wait for Christmas, but this has to get put away. Um, they're not getting it right away. They aren't getting them until Christmas. It's not Christmas. I mean, it technically is Christmas, but it's not Christmas yet for those people. So yeah, this is everything I picked up. I'm kind of excited about these. I need to find an ornament or something to stitch, even like a Santa, but I don't want it to be vintage. I want it on like white with sparkle and glitter because that's how I feel. That's gonna be the vibe for that. And that is everything I got um, today. Whilst out grocery shopping, and I picked up some Honey Baked Ham sliced ham lunch meat. Well, sliced ham and sliced turkey for our sandwiches tomorrow and some ham salad. I don't know, my sister-in-law said it's good. So I said, well, I'll get it for you when you eat it. I'm not a ham salad fan, but it's okay. So that's everything. Uh, oh. I shook you. Sorry. I hope you enjoyed this really quick haul. I'm kind of excited for spring stuff and maybe some new DIYs, but I'm going to try to make time this weekend, if not one night this week, to make um, that doll, the pink 
and red Santa doll because I think it's adorable. All right, guys, that's everything. I hope you have a fantastic night and I will talk with you later. Bye.